What are stem furries and should I be terrified? No, okay. So this is actually part of the, the hashtag ad portion of the stream. I actually have a bit of paid promotion for you guys. And it's not that this stream is sponsored, it's more so that whatever this is gonna be uploaded onto YouTube and, you know, this portion, this is sponsored. I got sent a little bit of a care package recently, and it was originally just to, like, I guess more so promote a little bit. Eventually it turned into paid promotion, but that's besides the fact. I looked at what I received from this individual, and it's like, you know what, I actually want to promote this. So this is a bit of a hashtag ad, a bit of a paid promotion thing. It's for a good cause, I promise you. And it does have to do with STEM furries, because what I've actually actually noticed is like, huh, there are a lot more furries that are into STEM, science, technology, engineering, math, than I actually thought. I thought furries, personally, were a bit more bland, and they really only cared about anything furry related, and that was it. It's a bit of a miracle to see that furries are interested in something that isn't furry related. So, that's why you have STEM furries. I myself am a STEM furry. I graduated with a mechanical engineering degree, minor in philosophy, that has nothing to do with STEM, but besides the fact, I have experience in the engineering field, specifically in quality engineering and uh, a bit of a minor passion for it. I, I wouldn't really say passion, but more so um, fixation on uh, things making sense. I'm one of those guys that's like, okay, how does this phone work? Not software-wise, I want to know what the fuck ticks in it, like physically. That's what I want to understand. So, uh, when I see other furries that are in, you know, engineering, or STEM-based, you know, anything, I gain a little bit of an interest in that, want to talk to them about it, and, you know, I have a bit of, uh, a bit of respect for people that have interests outside of furry-based stuff. And recently, someone contacted me, who is, you know, sort of in the STEM field, I believe, but has more so turned their STEM knowledge, or at least knowledge in engineering and 3D printing, into an actual business and this is where we promote fursuit glasses this isn't an actual like thing by the way it's just a package but uh someone contacted me and uh what they specialize in is 3d printed magnetic fursuit glasses you know those glasses that you probably go to, to like party city to pick up for your fursuit they're extremely large they're supposed to be comedic they might not even fit they might not even be the glasses you want but you just get them you just get them because you want some sort of like either nerd glasses for your fursuit or something cool you know it's a pain it might be cheap but it's a pain what if i told you that there's actually a business now now that offers you customized 3D printed fursuit glasses with removable and magnetic eyelids called fursuit glasses. Who would have thought? But actually though, if you go to uh, fursuitglasses.com, you can actually see what I'm talking about. What we're gonna go over here, they sent me a little care package to test out with Maverick. You know, I've always been a fan of the sort of nerdy glasses thing. You saw the art that Azume did for me, the uh, the nerd Maverick with like the push-up glasses with a little like tape on the front of it with like the pocket protector and all the pens. Like I'm, I'm a fan of that nerd aesthetic and I've always enjoyed nerdy glasses. So I was like, hey, you know, if you want me to do something, you know, for example, I've always wanted, you know, nerd glasses for Maverick or Levi whenever I decide to get, you know, the first suit for Levi. So uh, I was like, hey, send that to me and send whatever, you know, you want me to promote from there. And he sent me a little care package and here it is. And that's pretty much it. Oh my God, a sponsor? Beta, you're selling out again? Here's the thing. I've gotten several offers in the past for paid promotion. I don't actually like promote shit that's just downright shit. And this is one of these things where like, if I see something that's like 3d printed fursuit glasses damn it this actually seems like it's worth it i haven't opened this before i just took off the tape so like you know there you go oh look a little oh little sticker i've never seen a gazelle fursona before it's actually pretty neat oh they added bubble wrap it's so nice Ooh. oh that's so cool okay so this is what they look like, you know, all spread out like that. Look at these nerdy glasses. You can see they're 3D printed. I can see the little lines here. Oh man. And they're all put together too already. And they've got a little band on the back of it so it doesn't fall off my fursuit. Damn. I mean, they are big. They're supposed to be fursuit glasses. What else did he send with it? <gasps> bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. <laughs> Listen, I need to enjoy my bit of bubble wrap. This is what it is. This is all I needed. I didn't even need the glasses, I just needed this. Oh. There we go. All right, what else did they send with it? Oh, a little lens, you know, fabric cleaner. I dig that. Ooh, okay. So they got the different lenses with different screws for it. Oh, that's cool. Okay, hold on. Clear, glass-like lenses. Okay, do I need scissors? Probably need scissors. Don't open this the way I'm opening it. Yeah, this is just downright not a good idea. And I haven't eaten either, so I'm like really shaky. Whoops. Okay, there's that. Any more tape? Let's tape here. Okay, cool. Let's not cut open our finger. That would be pretty great. Awesome. How do you get this off? Oh, 
Figured it out. Okay, so you, you peel this off. This is the protective film from the glass thing. This is satisfying, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, perfect. Now I gotta do the other side. So these are the clear glasses. And then I think he sent me, yeah, he sent me four other types of lenses. So we have shaded lenses. I don't know if you can see that. We have amber lenses, which are, you know, an orange. And then 3D lenses. Oh, so they're blue and red. That is cool shit. Okay, I like this already. This is actually really cool. But for the sake of it, I'm only going to throw on the, uh, the clear lenses. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Okay, this is satisfying. And look at that, my fingerprints are all over it. What a great job. Good job, Beta. That's neat, are they magnetic? Sort of? I said they're magnetic. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, I think I'm figuring this out slowly, promise you. Oh, I need a screwdriver, are you kidding me? Small Phillips screwdriver needed. One extra of each hardware piece included. Remove the protective film or any lenses so they mirror horizontally. Separate magnets with bolts from each other. You should go on the left lenses, the other on the right. Fasten bolt with wash your nut. Don't over tighten, it can break the magnet. Okay, but hey, at least it comes with simple instructions. That's like, it's a bonus. Let's see if we can figure this out. We probably can't, but uh, you know, it's worth a try to at least do so once. Gonna be a bit rough, I'm gonna be honest. You don't need to have an engineering degree to put it together, right? Uh, if I can put it together. I'm assuming this is it. You get it on like that. This isn't rocket science. It feels like it to me. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. I'm actually kind of an idiot. So, fun fact, it's the back portion of these screws, like the little uh, washer right here. I'm assuming that's what it is, a washer that's magnetized. It's not the screw that's magnetized, it's the washer. So this portion, the back portion, magnetizes to this portion right here. So it's just, I'm figuring it out now. Dude, four years of an engineering degree and I can't even figure this out. <laughs> The magnets are actually really strong. Like this is only one magnet and just like, it hooks on pretty good and like removing it. So these things aren't falling off. The big thing that the fursuit glasses, like I guess product managed to figure out was making magnetic lenses, like replaceable lenses, but they actually don't fall off. So instead of, you know, just having these, what if you want to like change it up? Oh, you got some amber ones. You want to look like you wear the gunners for the Call of Duty competitions for the, you know, league play in Black Ops 2 can use these glasses to look like you wear gunners in your fursuit head. So really, once you have these put together, it's it's pretty easy from there. You don't even need to like tighten these that much. You don't even need a Phillips head screwdriver. It's kind of like IKEA fursuit glasses now that I think about it, but it's they're actually really good. These durable lenses come in a variety of colors and clip into the frames with neodymium magnets. What is neodymium? I don't know. Unlike other options, these glasses feature real hinges that easily fold for storage. The hinges are designer or designed to hyperextend outward, allowing them to fit most fursuit heads. So even th th that fucker, he's huge. Have you seen how big he is? You can fit these glasses on him any day. He is pretty cute though. He doesn't pay rent though, so you stay over there. But yeah, check out fursuitglasses.com or at fursuitglasses on Twitter or Instagram. I think that's the other one. So they're pretty big. Anyways, let's get Maverick. All right, you fucking freeloader, come here. So we have Maverick right here. Actually, this would be better if I put on the head. God damn it. You're welcome. Oh, wow. It smells like Christmas in here. Okay, so we have the glasses and these are supposed to go around my head and above like this and they're supposed to fit like that. Oh, look at that. Nerd wagon. And I can move my head around as much as I want, and these babies aren't coming off. I love it. Ah. E equals MC squared. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. That was kind of cringy now that I think about it. But, you know what? I'm a nerd now. It's pretty cool. Look at that. Wow, these look great. Dude, these fit so well. I'm surprised. I'm kind of shocked. Because generally, more for less heads are like the most insane, at least looking heads. And they don't really fit much in terms of glasses. But these, like, I like these. It's like Maverick, but he's in his 40s. It looks like as soon as you put on the glasses, he like ages at least 20 years. It's pretty funny. But look at this though. They look great. I love it. Actually though, I'm really shocked. I was expecting these to be a bit like uh, off-putting because you know, he's got a more for less, you know, big, big ass fursuit head. But like these fit him just fine and they're, they're pretty much going to fit every fursuit head you can find on the market. So that's really cool. I'm going to be honest. I just kind of realized this is going to be the first and only time I'm genuinely excited to promote a sponsored message. 
range. This is the first time, and really only time, where I'm just gonna have a, a sort of sponsored product that I'm really gonna be like, you know what? Go out and buy this. Like, genuinely though, go out and buy this. How much are these things? How much are these? Hold on. You can get glasses. Custom glasses, different types, different frames, along with different lenses, for $25. You can go and buy these right now for $25, but because this is a little sponsored product, if you at checkout use the code LIFEJACKET, you can get 5% off your full purchase. Just saying. So like you can get these and they're pretty good quality. It ships with four different replaceable and magnetic lenses, all for $25. If all you uh, fursuit nerds want to get your glasses and uh, nerd wear on, then this is the way to do it. These are pretty great though. Like you can literally keep this full thing together, throw it in your backpack or your luggage uh, between clothes, Clothes, and then you got a little outfit for your fursona or your fursuit whenever you go to a convention and it's ready for a con Honestly, if you order these now you should have them like all ready for the next con whenever that'll be so there's that So let's put together the rest of them to see how they look or at least one of the other ones. It's 25 for no lenses That's why it says from 25. Oh Okay, that's what it was my bad sponsored message failure I'm doing a great job with the sponsored message right now Can I just say hashtag ad hashtag sponsored hashtag fursuit glasses? No, but actually like what to be honest this is like really good quality and plus you know it's it's a furry based company it's not like just you know another company trying to like hop on the bandwagon of marketing to furries this is actually legitimately like a furry creating a business from their knowledge in engineering and just stem all together and making this happen it's really cool so like that's why i really want to support this outside of you know it being you know really good product so like that's a bonus this is really genuinely like good i should actually give these to jfet at some point jfet would love these oh my god he's part of the nerd herd if you are part of the nerd herd then buy these fursu glasses so let's see these lenses are all good if you want to take them off you just pop them out like that oh wow you actually can take these off with the fursuit you actually can take off the lenses with like fursuit paws huh that's neat. Those are the clear glasses. Now we're moving on to the 3D lens glasses. If you guys want to be furry nerds, get these glasses. They're amazing and clearly are the best on the market for furry glasses. I mean, better than going to Party City and picking up something that'll probably break before you get to your car. That's what I did before. I wanted to get some party glasses for, um, what was it? Pine Furcon, when they had like the whole like 80s uh, disco theme. I really wanted to get some disco glasses. So I went to Party City and they broke before I got to my car. No joke, we needed to go and pick up some uh, crazy glue or some whatever glue to hold it together and it just barely worked. Look at that, 3D glasses. Cute as fuck, I love it, I love it. Now Maverick will look like a nerd, a nerd that is into all sorts of uh, 3D films even though he's scared of all sorts of monster films. So that's another set of lenses. Where's the gunner lenses? Say you need to perform for your next Call of Duty championship. Say you really need to get to like diamond in league play. Say, you know, you really want to join optic gaming. Doesn't exist anymore. Say you want to join a hundred thieves, but you also really want to wear these fursuit glasses right now. Well, look no further because we've got, wait for it, amber colored fursuit glasses. You'll see it eventually. You'll see the lenses. So yeah. Look no further. You can now hit those sick gamer shots in Cod of Duty in children's online daycare while you're wearing your fursuit because you've got, you know, gunners. Now you've got gunners. Now you can play Call of Duty and oh my god, this actually kind of hurts my eyes. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Maybe the gunners are really intended to make uh, make the real Call of Duty gamers go blind and uh, Call of Duty is a casual game. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe the gunners are just supposed to be like a conspiracy um, product from the actual Call of Duty devs who are like, okay, you know, these gamers are really decreasing our numbers by the skill-based matchmaking. We could take out skill-based matchmaking or we could get rid of the competitive people by making them blind by giving them gunners. And so that's how they do it. And we could make money while doing it. Uh, look at that. So not only do we have our gamer pants, not only do we have our gamer fuel, we also have our gamer glasses. We've got all the gaming going. I'm just saying. The shade color looks cool for photos. Oh yeah, these I really do love the uh the amber color. All things considered, minus them looking like uh you know the <laughs> the uh gunners. These still look pretty good. It matches your orange life jacket. I know, dude. I could wear these with the nerdy glasses and wear Maverick's uh, life jacket, and then we're all good. It's easy. It's convenient. It's gaming. The website looks actually really clean. I like this slogan though. Your character deserves more than cheap kids' toys. Get a proper pair of glasses made special to work with fur suits. 
You can get Owo glasses. That's a selling point. Owo glasses. So yeah, firstnewglasses.com. Use code LIFEJACKET for 5% off your final order. I think that's how that works. But yeah, I dig it. I dig it a lot. Treat yourself. You know, everyone's worrying about getting gifts for other people. Treat yourself. Get yourself a gift. That's what I'll say. And these fursuit glasses, if you have a fursuit and you want glasses, this might be the best gift for yourself.